We're gonna start with our shortcut cleaning secrets right here in the kitchen because especially at this time of year, the kitchen is the most important room in the house. When I'm loading my dishwasher, I'm trying to load it in such a way that things that go together in my cabinets and drawers are together in my dishwasher. And you'll see when I empty it, I'm gonna go right around the room. Now with the silverware, it's one slot for the knives, one for forks, one for spoons. And I'm putting things together in the way that I'm gonna be putting them away. Let's face it, once the holidays hit, every minute counts. Now it's time to empty the dishwasher, thanks to the magic of video. And you'll see, I had all the cups together that go together, and then I had all the bowls and plates, and you're gonna see me work right around the room. Putting my silverware away was a snap. Next up, I'm putting away my cutting board and pan lids and then cups that go up over the coffee pot and my utensil drawers right there and then I store those pots on a wall. Second and actually favorite cleaning shortcut is right here in the refrigerator. I take those shelves out and any of the little buckets that we store things in and I put the dirtiest ones in the dishwasher. If you try this tip, you're gonna be shocked how well it gets off the stuff that you're normally having to scrape off, that sticky stuff that just doesn't wanna come up. I mean, I don't mind washing the easy things, but I would prefer that my dishwasher do some of this work for me. And next, I'm gonna let my vacuum cleaner get out the mess of crumbs and little vegetable particles that are left behind. Now that my vacuum cleaner has done some work for me, I'm just gonna spray things down and wipe it up quickly. This is the part where I wonder why in the world I left my hair down. <laughs> Next, I'm lining those cleaned vegetable drawers with saran wrap, and I don't hesitate to use two pieces, it's worth it. And then the next time it's dirty, all I have to do is lift those out, throw them away, and I'm done. My next cleaning shortcut is to use placemats on my shelves. I even got pretty Christmas ones. That way, you're cleaning placemats, which is easier than cleaning that shelf. While I'm waiting for my dishwasher, I put food that might spoil in a box. The shelves on the door are clean, and I'm putting those back, and I'm gonna be lining those with saran wrap. When they get dirty, all you have to do is throw that saran wrap away and put in some new saran wrap. They look so good. Now this is a real cleaning secret because I didn't wait for the dishwasher to finish its cycle. It really only needed about 30 minutes and those shelves were sparkling clean. There's my refrigerator all pretty with its Christmas placemats and then the door has the saran wrap on the shelves except for the egg shelf because that doesn't get dirty anyway. onto the oven. I'm actually way too tired to clean it today. What I'm going to do is a shortcut when company's coming and you just can do the best you can. I'm going to vacuum up the bits of food that have been charcoaled onto the bottom. I'm going to hit it with some all-purpose cleaner and wipe it down and as you can see it actually is pretty effective because look at all that dirt. And then when that's done I'm going to put some aluminum foil on the bottom. Aluminum foil is a very inexpensive way to catch the drips from turkey and pies that are gonna happen over the holidays. Even if you don't have time for a full clean, at least you'll have less to clean than you would have without the aluminum foil. Next cleaning shortcut I have for you is to spot clean your floor. And look, just use your foot, put the cleaner on the paper towel, use your foot, quick and easy, and it's done. Next, we're gonna use a dryer sheet and we're gonna dust the top of the microwave. My microwave, because it's black, is dusty every day, but rubbing it with a dryer sheet is going to help dust not to collect. And it also works on your radiator. So take a dryer sheet, rub down your radiator, rub down the top of your microwave and other metal things, and it will keep dust from accumulating. On into the living room, that dryer sheet is also very effective on electronics to keep those from gathering dust. You 
dust your whole house with a long handle duster, but at least get the stuff that's up high and you can go quickly through the whole house. If you do like using cleaners when you dust, I suggest putting a sock on your hands, spraying your cleaner, and go into town. Now you can buy cleaning mitts, they cost a lot of money, or you can just go to the dollar store and get a sock for a dollar, a pair of socks, and go to town. Or use socks you're ready to get rid of, and you can just stick them in the washer when you're done. Now, maybe you want to zip through the house using two different cleaners, maybe all-purpose and window cleaner, maybe wood cleaner and all-purpose. So spray each sock with the cleaners you want to use. So here I have wood cleaner on one hand, all-purpose cleaner on the other. And now I can go through the house and multitask. Wood cleaner, all purpose. All purpose cleaner. And then wood cleaner. Quick and easy. Next up is the carpets. We do not have to be spending all that money on carpet fresheners. Just grab the baking soda out of the baking cabinet and sprinkle it down and wait a little bit and then vacuum it up. Even if you completely forget about it until nighttime, <laughs> like I did, you can still vacuum it up. It's not going to harm your rug to be sitting there extra time. Thank goodness. I hope you found these cleaning shortcuts valuable to you. If you did, please hit the like button so I'll make more of these videos. I do have one up my sleeve for the bathrooms that I can't wait to show you. So that you don't miss that future video, please consider subscribing. Also on the right hand side, I have my cleaning playlist, so you want to click on that and watch more for cleaning motivation. Remember that God loves you and I do too. Bye!